Large convertibles don't really make a lot of sense, however. That didn't stop HP from putting everything and the kitchen sink inside the Spectre X 36016, including a very powerful core i7-12700H. How does it handle our rigorous testing process? If you have some time, check out our detailed review on our website through the link in the upper right corner. And if you don't, stick around and watch this quick recap. We're starting off very well, as the machine has an aluminum chassis and a very pretty blue finish. The edges of the lid and the base are curved, so the Spectre feels even thinner than its 19.9 millimeters profile would suggest. It's average weighing for a 15-incher at 2.01 kilograms, but tablet use could get tiring in some situations, unless you're Ronnie Coleman. The laptop does have balanced hinges which allow one-handed opening, showing off the glass display cover with thin bezels that manage to fit a full HD webcam and an IR scanner for Windows Hello. Looking at the base, we find stereo speakers as well as the keyboard and touchpad, which are some of the best that we've tested. The keyboard has long key travel and clicky feedback, while the pad is large and responsive. The surface is silky smooth as well. The I.O. is situated on the sides, as well as the two cutoff corners on the back. On the left, you find an audio jack, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a jawed USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 port. On the opposite end, you can see two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a microSD card slot, and a power plug. Hidden behind the glass slab sits a 3K plus IPS panel with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. It's excellent for consuming as well as creating content, thanks to the high 400 nit brightness and 98% sRGB coverage. Our design and gaming profile also manages to make it very accurate, with a Delta E value of 1.5. You can find links to our profiles in the description and in the upper right corner of the video. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The speakers really live up to the Bang & Olufsen branding, providing loud and quality sound with no frequency deviations. We're also pleasantly surprised by the 83 Watt Hour battery, which lasts for 12 hours and 47 minutes of web browsing or 9 hours and 53 minutes of video playback. That's a pretty good result. The Core i7-12700H isn't very well suited for this machine, being just slightly more powerful than the Core i7-1280P inside the MSI Summit E16 Evo Flip. Graphics-wise, you get the integrated Iris XE Graphics G7, or the discrete Arc A370M, which we don't really recommend. We've got benchmarks of the GPU on our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel if you're interested, as well as a complete article on gaming on Arc, which we'll link down below. Looking at the cooling, we're not impressed by the two heat pipes and two fans inside the Spectre. The Core i7 does go higher than its base power limit for the first 30 seconds of the test while settling comfortably at 40 watts in the long run. On the other hand, the laptop is very comfortable to use as the fans are quiet, while the external temperature on the base doesn't go over 35 degrees Celsius. Despite the larger form factor, the laptop does have soldered memory, with up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. You can upgrade the storage as there's one M2 slot for Gen 4 SSDs. If you need help getting to the slot, we have a separate teardown video which shows how to do it. While we generally aren't fans of large convertibles, the HP Spectre X 36016 makes up for it with an excellent build and pretty much no shortcomings except for the upgradability and the H-Series CPU, which doesn't realize its potential. For a deeper look at the Spectre X 36016, check out our detailed review in the description below.